Nowhere is America's labor shortage more apparent and the solution more unique than at the general store CBS's Steve Hartman found on the road. Here in Norwich, Vermont, for more than a century, this general store has been as much a fixture in the community as the church steeple. But then that sign went up, screaming a desperate need in neon orange, a warning sign of an end approaching. Dan Frazier is the owner of Dan and Wits. How many openings did you have? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> All of them. Yeah. It was like, we're gonna have to lock the front door because we have zero help. This was your dad's business. This was your grandfather's business. Right. And it was gonna close on your watch? Yeah, which would be tough when you've invested your whole life into it. Customers were equally devastated. Of course, that happens whenever a small town loses an iconic business. But what sets this place apart is that these customers didn't just give Dan their sympathies. They gave him their applications. I'm so excited to have you here. Well, it's so nice to be here. So this retired so finance director applied for a job in the deli. There we go. Dr. Rick Farrell is working checkout. I'm just trying to get the cash register to work. People from all over town and all walks of life in. punched in to help Dan stay open. There I am. I'm a therapist. Teacher, second grade teacher. Professor of psychology. Principal of the middle school. I'm an RN. So far, nearly two dozen customers, like Diane Miller, have stepped up. Because Dan and Wits is the heartbeat of this community. It's the heart of our town. For some reason, the heart of the town. I really got this sense. It's the heart of this town. That Dan and his store are the heart of the town. Yep. And as if stocking shelves and running register weren't enough, virtually all of these new hires are donating their hourly wage to some of Dan's favorite charities. Dan says this has all been just the help he needed. Absolutely. Um, the fact that the community stepped up, you know, I mean, sometimes it takes sort of a crisis, if you will, to appreciate what you have. Right, how are you? And in Norwich, they have what every town needs more than anything. Thank you. Each other. Steve Hartman on the road in Norwich, Vermont. We'll be right back.